Two of the hotter teams in the AL heading into this Sunday matchup. Something had to give. The Monkey Kings came out of the gate 2-0 this season, meeting Gen X, who sat with an even-up 2-2 two and two record after dropping their first two games of the season. They've come back to win their last two. So both teams looking for a three-game winning streak. And after the first half, it looked like this could go either way. Gen X came out strong in the first quarter as they actually went up 20-16 to 16 after Q1. And the strength of that was built off of three triples. Count them, one, two, three, by Henry Kim. The rookie showing flashes of brilliance as he went 3-for-3 three three from downtown in Q1 to startle the Monkey Kings. Jason Chin also had 9 points hitting a 3 in that mix as between Chin and Kim, ha ha ha, Chin Kim, they came out smoking as they took it to the Monkey Kings who are back on their heels a little bit. But the Kings, well, they are a tough cookie. Nick Mui, who came out of the gates with six points of his own in the first quarter, to prove to his old team, Gen X, that it was a mistake to let him walk over from Gen X to the Monkey Kings, as earlier this season he did just that. They made their move back in the second quarter as they outscored Gen X 21-12. to In that quarter, Tony Hu got cooking as he went 3-for-3 three three from the floor. Mike Chan... Same thing, 3-3 three three from the two-point territory, including this strong move to the rack. Brought the Monkey Kings to a 37-32 lead at intermission. Again, as indicated, anyone's ball game at that point. But then, well, the third quarter came. Things started to melt for Gen X. The team started to implode. And the Monkey Kings just caught fire. They went 9 of 17 from the field in the third quarter as Nick Mui scored every which way but loose. He hit two from downtown and three from the two-point territory to score 12 points in the third stanza to lead the Monkey Kings out to a large lead by the end of that frame, 59-42. 17-point lead by that quarter and all the good work Gen X done in Q or quarter, first half rather, went out the window. And in the fourth quarter, the Kings just cruised home as Kwok Ng bagged seven points and Wilson Liu, who finished with 10 points and four assists, as well as Kevin Quach, who finished with 10 points and two steals, rather, sorry, 12 points and six rebounds, both dropped bombs to seal the deal. 75-54 by the end. The Monkey Kings smoked them in the back half. 38-22 to to win this one going away to move to 3-0. Gen X, who played an excellent first quarter, just found themselves flustered by the back half. Coach Rob Chopin having to call timeouts left and right. They were led by Kim, who had 19 points, 4 steals, to go with 3 rebounds and 3 assists apiece, as well as 11 points from Jason Chin, who cooled off after that hot first quarter. He also had a hand with three helpers. Dennis Yang, who went 3 of 13 from the floor, they need more from him, had only six points, but he had five assists and four rebounds. Big Jang Yu was effective down low with eight points, seven boards, and three assists. On the King side, they had five players score in double digits and just missed six when Mike Chan only finished with 8 points, 6 boards, and 4 assists. But everyone else had heaping helpings as they were led by Nick Mui, who scored again every which way but loose, including here on this buzzer beater at the end of the third, with 20 points, 12 boards, 2 assists, 3 steals. Who had 13 points, 9 boards, and 2 steals. And Kevin Quatch again 12 and 6, while Kwok Ng and Wilson Liu at 10 points apiece. The Kings shot 42% overall from the floor, outboarded the Gen X 47 to 26, despite the presence of Jang Yu and Len Kamdang, who were eating up paint for Gen X, and just basically clocked Gen X all over the floor, sending them back right from where they started this season, looking a little confused 
and dazed. But Gen X is 2-3, and three, which is much better where they were at this point last season. Well, the Kings, who have yet to lose, or even have a close game for that matter, continue to look to kill.